Given the country we record from, the focus of this show generally winds up being Christianity. But it's important that we take time every once in a while to remind everybody that there's a buffet of bullshit out there that stretches to the horizon. So this week, we're going to dive into a religion far too often overlooked on this show in a long overdue edition of How Bullshit Is It? So tell us, Heath, what cow pie of credulity do you have for us today? Well, with Halloween only a week away, I thought we'd talk about Wicca. Ah, a trip down what few memories I retain from my 20s lane. Great. So what is Wicca? Well, if theology could take psychedelics, Wicca is the thing it would call you about at 2.30 in the morning to be a pain in the ass and tell you about forever. You sleep? You sleep? Yes. <laughs> Clearly. Hear me out, dude. Not Smudging. Now. All right. What? <laughs> no. All right. So uh, where does Wicca come from? Well, that depends on who you ask. If you ask Wiccans, they'll tell you it comes from the ancient pagan beliefs of pre-Christian Europe. But if you ask people that are not mistaken or lying, they'll tell you it was developed in the 50s by a British dude named Gerald Gardner, who was trying to figure out excuses for everyone to be naked more often. Okay, well, so, so far so good. Uh, are we yeah, sure we want to? Yeah, no, you, it explains why I got into Okay, so who was Gardner? <laughs> was he like a historian or an archaeologist or something? He was a retired civil servant. Hmm. Okay. Did did he have any qualifications whatsoever to speak for the beliefs of pre-Christian European religion? He did not. Oh, okay. But but he did at least take a lot of his stuff from what was known of ancient pagan traditions, right? Well, almost nothing was actually known about ancient pagan traditions, so not really. He borrowed from the stuff people made up about ancient pagan traditions but he managed to fuck up many of those fabrications too. See, all of his information stemmed from what's known as the witch cult hypothesis. This was some Trump level scholarship that managed to gain a few influential adherents in the early 1900s. Most notably, Margaret Murray, who was later invited to write the entry for witchcraft in the Encyclopedia Britannica. Her academically dubious entry would then go on to inordinately influence cultural beliefs about witchcraft for a long time, pretty much ever since. Okay, so I, w what was the uh, witch cult hypothesis? It was the idea that the witch hunts that swept through Europe and the Americas in the 15th and 16th centuries were actually hunting witches, like real ones. <laughs> the theory rejects the common explanation of mass hysteria and group delusions and argues instead that the witches were members of ancient cults that maintained the pre-Christian pagan beliefs in secret. Okay, so there's a belief that's a belief that's carried on today so that my wife's shittiest friends can develop an oppression complex about their crystal collection. Yep, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, I probably don't even have to ask, but is there any evidence to support this hypothesis? I just said an article in Encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. The entire neo-pagan movement is based on bad scholarship that, in a roundabout way, argues that the pre-enlightenment witch hunts were justified? That is correct, yes. Okay, but to be oh. fair, if you told me the motivation behind the Salem witch trials was to prevent Instagram posts with a single tarot card leaning against a candle, I would be 100% <laughs> on board. <laughs> All right, so... If these cults are fictitious, they can't have beliefs for the neo-pagan traditions to draw from. So where do their beliefs come from? A variety of places. Most of it came from the New Age mysticism of the day. Some of it came from contemporary interpretations of European archaeological finds. And some of it came straight out of Gerald Gardner's ass. So, oh, okay. few different spots. Pretty typical mm -hmm. of uh, New Age religion. Yeah. So what do Wiccans believe? Well, they believe in nature. I'm, I'm sorry, don't we all believe in nature? Mm, yeah. Meh, I'm iffy on lakes. What? What? Sorry, you're iffy on lakes? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah, I, I just don't feel like they're a real thing. Okay, we're, we're just going to move right past that. Um, okay. No, yeah, let but... me be more specific. Wiccans believe that we're all connected to nature. Okay, but again, don't don't we all believe that we're... All connected to nature? Yes, we do. Okay, okay. So I was thinking maybe you could tell us what Wiccans believe that the rest of humanity doesn't consider a priori knowledge. 
I'd love to, Noah, but that's a list of zero things. <laughs> really? Yeah, uh, empty set. There's no concrete list of beliefs that make up Wicca. And those few things that they all accept are basically universal precepts stated in a, you know, Lord of the Ringsy type of way. <laughs> like the Wiccan read, which states, and harm none, do what you will. It's uh, one of those slogans that assumes you heard a very large conversation before it. And this goes in what? media race. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but isn't that also like minus the end media rest part? Isn't that also the libertarian credo? Yes. It's also the most puerile form of ethics you can possibly build a worldview around. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's both obvious and impossible, which is honestly somehow impressive and stupid at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> which is both impressive and stupid at the same time. <laughs> and it breaks apart the moment it's subjected to the slightest hint of a moral dilemma. Yeah, it's I'm not hurting anybody, the religion. Right. But, all right, but I still find it hard to believe that this religion has no core set of beliefs. Okay, here's the opening paragraph of the beliefs section of Wicca from Wikipedia. Quote, theological views within Wicca are diverse. The religion encompasses theists, atheists, and agnostics. Cowards. With some viewing the religion's <laughs> deities as entities with a literal existence, and others viewing them as Jungian archetypes or symbols. You hear that, Carl? So, this is what happens, Carl. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> Continuing, even among theistic Wiccans, there are divergent beliefs, and Wicca includes pantheists, monotheists, duotheists and polytheists end quote no no fucking panentheists so fuck those guys so <laughs> so wait whatever you want to believe as long as it's wrong exactly yep okay yes. um well okay wait wait but they all at least believe in magic right <laughs> well even here wikipedia hedges their bets with the qualification that quote many wiccans believe in magic <laughs> end quote and wow. even among those who do, many Wiccan authors define magic all the way down to simple stuff like the ability to calm yourself when you're angry. They define that as magic. So it'd be hard to say that even most of them believe in what you'd normally define as magic based on the word magic and what it means. Uh, excuse me, Heath. Normal stuff? Not everyone can calm themselves down when they're angry, Heath. I got you, Noah. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Eli. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, wait. What about herbs? Are you asking me if they believe in herbs? Because actually, that's well, a reasonable no, question. But <laughs> at, th at this point, yeah, wait. But no, I mean, isn't herbalism a big part of Wicca? Generally, yeah, it is. Basically, everything that's stupid and new agey is a big part of Wicca at this point. <laughs> okay. So, so do they at least have religious rituals? Mm -hmm, yes and no. Ritual plays a big part in Wicca, at least theoretically. Since Wiccans are pretty spread out, most of them can't actually participate in rituals with other Wiccans very often. There are solo versions of most of the rituals, though, but nobody really does them. They just tell other Wiccans later that they have done the solo <laughs> rituals because, you know, why not? My, my Canadian ritual? Yeah, you don't right, know. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't do a thing, right? right? Okay, so what kind of rituals do they pretend to have done? There's a long tradition in Wiccan literature to create a prohibitive number of preliminary rituals for any full ritual meant to actually do anything tangible. For example, if you want to cast a spell that would make a noticeable difference in the world in any way, they're going to start you off with like four rituals to consecrate your magical weapons. And each of those has to be done under different star signs and moon phases and a bunch of bullshit. You're also going to get an obnoxiously long initiation ritual, a few rituals of purification because you, you, you weren't pure for, for everything, right. a Obviously. ritual to bless the place you're going to do the ritual because the, the place probably wasn't pure, and maybe blessed. a few other rituals to prepare specific tools for the, the final ritual. Okay, well, that 
that sounds like a transparent way to keep anybody from ever getting far enough into the practice to realize it doesn't work. That is because it is. Yes, exactly. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe you've heard of my religion, the Time Warner Cable Helpline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, rituals are out, beliefs are out. Uh, uh, what about holidays? Uh, they can at least all agree on those, right? Mm, sort of. They have eight holidays in the Wiccan calendar. And they are all Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> and they all agree about when those eight holidays are. Okay. And with only two exceptions, they agree on what they're called, too. <laughs> they're batting 750 on naming, agreeing. But in terms of how the holidays are celebrated... There's virtually no consistency, and there's also no real celebration either. Okay, then why bother having holidays? Oh, that's so they can get angry at this time of year and act like their people are being oppressed through a cultural appropriation scam. Uh, oh, I see. Mm. But but isn't their entire religion the very worst form of cultural appropriation? Yes, it is. Very much so. Yeah, okay, yeah. Not to mention that the very, very few Wiccan traditions that actually have a basis in ancient cultures are Native American traditions. Yep. Yeah. And historians will tell you they just love it when white girls take credit for their heritage <laughs> in the name of ancient American Celts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if Wicca has no universally recognized sets of beliefs, offers up banalities like go with it in lieu of moral guidance, has no real ritual structure, and doesn't even offer up any good holidays, what does it offer its practitioners? Fucking, Noah. It offers fucking. Wicca puts a big focus on nudity and also group masturbation, apparently, I just learned, uh, which pretty excited about. Also, orgies and ritual sex in general. It all makes so much sense now. Doesn't it? Hey, Wiccans. I don't know why I said all that crazy stuff before. I'm, okay. I'm, just, I'm just joking. I take it all back. So, like, how do we join the, the Wicca? Yeah. So there's a heavy emphasis on sex in Wicca and an even heavier emphasis on the group nudity. So it's kind of like hanging out with Eli, but a religion. Yeah. Yeah. I have reasons. I have reasons. I don't know. Eli's spells are a little bit better, but yeah, pretty much the same. <laughs> um, but yeah, just, I, even down to the gross vegetable food, it's very similar to hanging out yeah, with Eli, no, I, I got to admit. Right. There's a lot, of, a lot of links. For example, one of the most influential books about Wicca, Raymond Buckland's Complete Book of Witchcraft, it describes the ritual for initiation to a Wiccan coven. And this involves the initiate being stripped naked, blindfolded, and then bound with both hands behind their back. The ritual also includes a portion where the high priest is required to touch both the initiate's nipples as well as their genitals. Okay, so it's just a fuck cult. A at its best, it's just a fuck cult, yes. Still, better than Christianity or Islam. Let's yeah, be no, honest. better yeah. than an anti-fuck <laughs> cult, yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> All right, well, I guess the only question left to ask is, how bullshit is it? Well, it's a bullshit container made of bullshit and then filled with more bullshit. It's like a fractal of shit going in all directions, <laughs> which they probably think is one of their magical properties. It is not, yep. but right. that's I'm sure what they think. All right. Well, Heath, thanks again. It's always nice to know that we have an expert on relative fecality on the job. I think you're welcome. But seriously, Wiccans, just call it, call us up. We want to learn. I'm open. <laughs> We're open to experiences. My nipples. Especially. <laughs>